Hey guys, Kat here from Standing Stone and I have Hex with me today. He is five months old and we are going to be working on proofing the collar for recall. When puppies are super distracted, vibrate might not be enough in these situations, so we need to move on to utilizing stimulation. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like today. So a lot of times our puppies get used to vibrate and it's just not enough to get through to them when they are distracted. Things to chew on like this little stick that Hex found are big distractions and vibrate might not be enough to get him to comply with the recall cue that he knows. We've worked on collar conditioning for recall, not only inside where it's very controlled, as well as calling him back and forth between Ethan and I, but we've also incorporated vibrating with collar conditioning for recall into his retrieving sessions. And those have all gone really well. Now though, I've noticed there are times when he doesn't respond to vibrate. He'd rather do whatever he wants to do. And so that's when we need to get our puppy comfortable responding to not only the vibrate, but also responding properly to stimulation on the collar. We have done this with his collar conditioning for place training, where we've utilized some stimulation, a few nicks on the collar to redirect his focus and get his attention, then back to vibrate. So I'm going to actually work on that with him Today, uh, we've got our DT Systems 1820E collar. I'm going to be starting with just a few little warm up reps with Vibrate, and then when he's distracted, which he inevitably will because he's a puppy and we're outside and there's things to look at, like pigeons on the ground over there, I'll be able to utilize the e collar with the stimulation, and I'll let you know when I'm doing that to get his attention. So let me see if I can get him back on screen. I'm not using the collar, but hey, Hex, come on, buddy. So no collar yet, I just called his name. He's a pretty cooperative little pup, which if you've been following along with any of his other videos, you've probably seen. So just a few vibrate reps with him. Hex, good boy. No jumping, buddy. Hex here, good. So he gets to me, the collar shuts off. So he runs around a little bit again. The vibrate will turn on. Hex here, uh-uh, Hex. So this is a great example of how he's not listening and he's distracted even though he's feeling vibrate on the collar. So we can actually redirect him a couple nicks on the collar. We're out there about a five. Now, oh, he felt it, he said, hex here. So I got up to a seven, just nick, nick, nick until he, ah, uh -uh. Again, vibrate's not shutting off until he gets all the way to me. Oh, he, he's like, I really need to poop. Okay, poop break. Hex, here, just feeling vibrate again. Good boy. Uh uh, here. Good, good job. Okay. So, gonna let him wander off, get distracted. Doesn't take much at this point for him to be distracted. Hex, here. So, nick, nick, here. Good. Uh uh, here. So, this dart away thing, that's something that I don't want him to be able to continue conditioning. Nick, nick, here. Here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So we may move off of just nicks, which he's responding to. He's feeling the nick, then he's feeling vibrate, and he's coming to me. Now we're going to actually switch to continuous stimulation. Here. So he's feeling continuous stimulation. We're going to roll up. Continuous stimulation. And it's going to stay on until he gets all the way to me, guys. Do you see the difference? I was nicking him, redirecting his attention, and he was paying attention. Then he would feel vibrate, and he'd kind of prance by me. We call those drive-bys. That's not a situation that I want to continue allowing him to condition, where he doesn't actually complete that recall and stay with me, um, and just darts away. So we actually switched, because vibrate wasn't enough to finish that recall and close that gap and keep him with me. So I switched to continuous stimulation. We got up to a five, and he was able to complete that recall all the way to me. We're going to go ahead and go back to vibrate, though. Hex here. Uh-uh. So back to stimulation, continuous. Hex. Here. Good. 
feeling it all the way back to me. Good job, buddy. Good. Okay. It's important for our puppies to understand that stimulation can be shut off the same way as the vibrate on the collar is, especially in these higher distracting situations when your puppy is becoming more bold and more confident. We sometimes need more collar and able to get them to comply with what we already have taught them to do with the collar. Hex here. We're just using vibrate again. Ah, uh ah, -uh. see him trying to do that dart past me thing? Good, good boy. So the vibrate stayed on until he got all the way to me. I'm gonna go just switching straight to continuous, no vibrate this time. Hex, ah, uh ah, -uh. turning the collar up a little bit. Hex here. You can definitely see when he feels it, he kind of turns his head. We're just out of five continuous at this point. He's a little bit tougher um, dog, if you will, where he's feeling a little more of the collar on that continuous to comply, but we're always using the lowest level of stimulation necessary to get the desired response. He ignores me on everything underneath that five continuous. So I need to go up until he's actually feeling it enough to comply. Do a couple more reps here. He's got a little weed in his mouth, so this is a good distraction opportunity. Hex here, here, good. So I got, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, hex, hex here, hex here, hex, good. So I got his attention and then I tried to switch back to vibrate because I heard a little tiny whine and a little vocalization out of him. So again, I was like, okay, I've got your attention, back to vibrate, then he's like, eh, I'm gonna ignore you on vibrate mom this is this is normal puppy behavior guys so then I switched back to stimulation I'd rolled down a little bit and he was ignoring me so I had to roll back up until I was actually past what he had actually whined or verbalized on on that last rep okay there's not necessarily an exact collar level that you're gonna use because every situation is gonna be slightly different your puppy's distraction level is gonna be slightly different and every puppy is slightly different. So we're gonna go ahead and get his attention. Hex here. Good, that was a really good rep. Good job, buddy. And he did a great job complying with the collar on stimulation, both a combination of nicks to get his redirection and his focus back, and a little bit of vibrate to complete that retrieve, uh, recall, excuse me. And there were times where he wasn't completing that recall on the vibrate, so we actually switched to continuous stimulation, and we were able to build a lot of really good reps on conditioning him to recall with proofing the collar. Until next time, I'm Kat the Dog Trainer, and we'll see you in the next video.